Okay, so right now we're in the part three of the tutorial and in the previous tutorial what we did is we created the module we added the fields that we want to have uh, inside our custom modules i didn't show the actual adding of the other fields but it's very easy to do through the studio in that module we added the real estate id and the broker id as the two fields and right now what we'll do is uh, we're going to take a look at how you can make this modifiable by the end user so this is going to be fun because we'll uh, see how some of the most important modifications, most common ones are done within the sub panel. And we'll proceed with the first step, with the very first step here, which is uh, going to be creating a custom edit button. So this edit button that we have here by default, it would point to the external broker ID, but we want it to point to the broker commission instead. So to the record, uh, of the broker commission that varies here. So this is going to require us to create a custom sub panel file. So right now this file that you see here, it uses like the default default.php file. And we wanted to use a custom uh, sub panel definition. So once we have that custom sub panel definition created inside that uh, sub panel definition file, we're going to specify that the edit button needs to be different. We're not going to use, uh, we're going to use an edit button, which is going to point to the broker commission module instead of just the broker module. <clears throat> so to do that, the first thing that we're going to do is, is we're go going to first of all, make a distinguishing, uh, distinguish something here. So very important. <clears throat> right now we're inside the real estate unit module. And this real estate module here shows an external broker sub panel right so very important this is the real estate unit and it shows the external broker sub panel so what we want to do is inside the real estate unit this is like let's let's call it host module for the sake of this tutorial this is the module that hosts multiple sub panels including the broker uh, sub uh, panel we want to tell the system that for this sub panel here we want to use a custom file okay so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to open up the, the definition, the metadata definition of the host module and uh, for the sub panel. So it's going to be found in the real estate unit. The name of the metadata definition here is going to be uh, this file here. So you're going to find it somewhere like custom extension module, name of the host module. In this case, it's real estate extension layout devs and the name of the uh, sub panel metadata. So this line here, by default, when you open it up, it's going to be default.php. And we wanna change it, we want to give it a unique name. So uh, by default, it uses the default.php file and we're telling the system that, hey, when, you, when you're inside the real estate unit and you're loading up the broker sub panel, I want you to use another file. I want you to use a custom sub panel uh, metadata file, which is going to be for inventory.php. You're not going to put PHP, you're just going to put for inventory in this case, or another name that you have. And so when that part is done, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy the default sub panel file, which is going to be found in the folder of the brokers. So uh, just a very quick summary here that the sub panel that you're seeing here, this is like a miniaturized list view of the brokers module. So that's why we need to go to the brokers module folder and then copy the default.php file. So which is going to be here modules, external brokers, metadata, sub panels, default.php. So you're not copying it from real estate, but from the external brokers. Uh, sorry for over specification, but that's the part where you can get stuck and nothing is going to make sense for many hours. So uh, it's very important to drive that point home, let's just say. So you're going to copy that file and you're going to paste it into the following location. So it's going to be custom, custom modules, name of the sub module, so brokers, metadata, sub panels, and then the name of the file that you chose here. So that is going to tell the system that when this uh, opens up, we're not going to use default.php, we're going to use for inventory.php file to show the, su the sub panel here. So we're going to copy it. We have the file that looks like this. And inside the file, we have a, an edit button, which is defined 
here. It says widget class and that's the edit button. The edit button is a widget. So what we're telling the system is that uh, we're going to change the, the definition. Instead of subpanel edit button, that's what it is by default, we're going to put this edit button here. And we're uh, going to create a file for this custom edit button. So uh, similar to the way that we extended the default .php subpanel file, we're going to extend the default edit button file. So to do it, we're going to locate the, um, the default widget, which is going to be in include generic sugar widgets. The default one is subpanel edit button. And the naming convention for the file is sugar widget followed by the name of the widget. So sugar widget subpanel edit button. Yeah, that's this one. So we're going to copy this file and we're going to paste it into custom include generic sugar widgets. So we're creating, uh, like we're creating a new button. We're going to paste it and then we're going to rename it to our widget name. So whatever widget name that we give it, we give here, that's going to be the new file name. This is the file that was copied. And the, uh, basically the, <clears throat> the naming convention is the following, uh, is the same as before. So it's sugar widget, right? That's the first part of the file and then followed by the actual name of the widget that we're creating. And that's what it looks like uh, here, you can see. So the, uh -huh, it's actually the wrong file that I'm looking at. Okay, so the way that it looks like is going to be for inventory, what is it? So it's subpanel edit external broker commission. So let's find it. So sugar widget, subpanel uh, edit external broker commission button here. Yeah, that's what it is. So feel free to copy this uh, setup here. So what it is, is we're just basically building up the, the URL of the edit button. So the link of the edit button. And uh, uh, I'm using this function here. You can write your own, but basically what it's doing is just that it's looking for, the re for this record here. So it's looking for a record whose real estate ID field is this and whose external broker ID field is that. So this and that meaning Obviously, when we're inside this subpanel, it has the external broker ID and it has the real estate ID. So I'm just looking for what is the record, the intermediary, the connector uh, record that's connecting this external, this broker with this real estate unit. And it's very simple. I just do like a, a simple fetch from the database. I'm saying like, hey, where's the, uh, what is the ID of the record whose real estate ID is this and whose external broker ID is that. So when I get this uh, uh, record, that's what I specify in the URL. So this, what you see here is basically just this button. So when we hover over this button, you're going to see that it matches whatever that we defined here. And then we specify that this is, it's, it's going to return the, uh, uh, this is the button that it's going to return in the end, which contains uh, all of our required data in order to point to the edit view of the broker commission record. So that's very straightforward. So the edit button, so the edit button was created. Right now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a uh, custom column here inside the sub panel. So I want the, uh, I want another column, which is going to show the commission. In this case, I'm just going to show the ID of the uh, commission broker record, not to make this too complicated, but just to show you like what, what's the principle behind this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the inventory file that we created earlier and in it we're going to specify another inside the list list fields we're going to specify the commissions column so the commission modules here that i specified the v name is it's basically whatever you put inside the uh, the systems language file so inside the language file here which is in custom include language in lang i put the uh, this is the label file that needs to be used. So it matches this one here. And I say, say that the widget class that should be used for this column is going to be called subpanel show external commissions. The original widget class for the, uh, for the stuff that gets shown here was subpanel detail view link. So we're doing the same exercise that we did earlier. So we're basically extending the default file. So we're going to copy this sugar widget from the uh, the system sugar widget, which is going to be named sugar widget subpanel detail view link. So it's going to be sugar widget subpanel 
detail view link. So this file here, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into our include generic sugar widgets. So we're just creating another widget. And then I'm going to rename it to sugar widgets, sub panel show ex external commissions. Uh, sub panel show external commissions. That's what it's going to look like. Don't forget always to rename your class here so it matches the file name. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And here what I'm doing is I'm basically saying, okay, so by default, the commission ID is going to be zero. So it's going to be nothing by default. But then we're going to go ahead and fetch it from the, from the database. So in this case, I'm uh, just fetching the ID. But in your case, you would be fetching other information if you want to show other information in this, in this section here. Right. So if you have like commissions or price or whatever uh, inside your connector module, then that's what you would be displaying here. But it's just to, to give you an example of what it would look like. And then if all goes well, you're going to return the external uh, broker commission. In this case, it's just the ID. We're going to repair and rebuild. And then that's going to include that info in your uh, sub panel here as one of the columns. And all of those steps are outlined right here. So I have the example code for all of the stuff that we looked at before. And it's all basically included here. 